quite a few of you have asked, how did I make this Nitana? And so what I've decided to do is show you. We're gonna get right into it. This is exactly how my Zettelkasten in Tana has been created. And as I go through, I might explain why I did some of the things I did. We'll see. But it starts out first, of course, as all things do in Tana, with the super tags. And this entire Zettelkasten that you've seen so many videos about really is just made up of six super tags. And in order to recreate this system from scratch, you'll need to put them in this order because the ones afterwards depend on the ones before. I've put them in the order here in which I think that you should implement them. And in my case, and I do suggest you do something similar, I have a template that I call Zettelkasten template, and I've got all the super tags here, and I've brought all the nodes here. Let's just step through these one at a time. So this the system appears complex when you see it in use, but in reality, it's just made up of six super tags, and all these super tags leverage one another, and that's what creates the emergent complexity. But let's just start with question. This is the simplest of all the tags, and you'll notice here that I have a question, and then underneath this, you'll see this description. These descriptions, of course, come from the description field on each super tag. So my super tag is question. I chose to make it orange, make it whatever color you like, and you'll see that there's absolutely no template here. It doesn't get any simpler than this. And just uh, put something like that. You can call it whatever you like. Describe it however you like. This is what I do. So questions is first. The next one is source tag, which I have in gray. And under source, I say, where did this come from? What's the best citation you can find? I tend to use a URL. I use a tool from Readwise called Read. And many times as part of my source, I will reference my read version of an article or a PDF because it will have my annotations. That can be quite useful. And now I will oftentimes create an APA or MLA style citation and put that here. That can be really useful for me later when I'm actually writing or creating for publication. But that's why I do that and that's why these nodes are here. So now we've created question and source. Next is to create evidence. So let's create evidence. Now you'll notice this does have another field. So when you click on that, it is an instance of source. That's key. No other fancy settings, nothing strange here. Source is an instance of source. And you'll remember that we already made source right here. The next one is claim. And now claim has two fields, supporting evidence and refuting evidence. And what you will notice is that if I click on this, supporting evidence is just an instance of evidence, as is refuting evidence. All evidence is evidence. It can be supporting or refuting. This works out great. Again, I try to keep it simple. And you'll see a claim is a proposition a claim or otherwise known as a proposition is a statement we argue for with evidence. So that's what that is. And that's how it is set up. The next one is term. So term is a really important node here. It is, in my opinion, it may be the, it's one of the two most important term and permanent node itself are the two most important nodes. Now this one's special. It has a more complex setting. And first and foremost, uh, relevant terms are a word or two that's used as the index and as the rails to traverse the Zettelkasten. This is a really important context. This deserves a little bit more explanation. First things first is just a field here for the definition, and it's a place where you may wish to define the term. And then I have two live searches, and these are very straightforward. People are often surprised when they actually see them. And I actually made a YouTube short that shows how I created these from Tana itself as opposed to building them from scratch. But to see the live query, you'll see it's just a field index term as parent. That is it, okay? An index term is an instance of term. So let's go back in here and let's go back again. And that's gonna give you what I've called the permanent note. This is neat because it shows you on a term page what permanent notes are associated with that term. And then the relevant notes here are the same thing, basically. You just got, instead of instead of the permanent notes here, look again, instead of the index term, we are using relevant notes as parent. That is all. And just quickly, let's take a look again at what the Zettelkasten itself looks like. I have down here the Zettelkasten search node, and we can go into the Zettelkasten. It's really important to realize that the Zettelkasten in this system is generated. It's not created manually by hand. It gets put together as a result of all the nodes that you create using the permanent note super tag. And so if I click on this, I will go in and you'll see that I have three columns. This is the actual permanent note on the left. Then you have the index term column and the relevant notes columns. And these are the same two things that we are using inside the terms here, index term and relevant notes. Okay. So the trick is how everything fits together. It's not that it's each 
query is particularly complicated. It's just that it all fits together in such a nice way. And that's what creates the emergent complexity and creates the really powerful way to traverse your Zelda casting using the terms that are index term column or the relevant terms column. Really, really, that's just the most beautiful way I've found so far to traverse a Zelda casting and explore your thoughts about your thoughts in the context of other people's thoughts, if that makes any sense at all. And then the last one is, of course, the most complicated super tag, which is called permanent notes. First, I've got a calendar date node. Um, so index term is an instance of term. You can see, just to show you relevant notes, it's just a field type plane. And all I do is just put this little definition in here because it really helps when you're making permanent notes along the way. Reference notes, same thing. Relevant questions is an instance of question. Literature notes, the literature notes, fleeting notes, elaborate on the meaning of the note. Again, plain definition, really simple fields. The next one is relevant terms. Relevant terms is an instance of term. Claims. Claims is just an instance of claim. You'll notice the plural versus the singular. Thought about that? Really prefer it that way. And relevant source, link to any sources not in our graph, and you'll show that it's just an instance of source. And you'll remember from previously what source is because we went through all of that. So now if we go all the way back here to our super tag system, again, you've got six super tags. I've just walked you straight through how each super tag is configured. If you configure them in the same order that I have them listed here, you will end up with this lovely permanent note structure. You can see here the Zettelkasten itself is generated from yet another live query. That live query is a live query against the permanent note. I've added, you click this, and I've added the index term and the relevant notes. Now, I use this all the time to connect notes because you can simply click in one and command C and then click in another and go over here and put it in the relevant notes. That's how you're making all of the connections in your Zettelkasten, but you do it at note creation time. I have a whole other video walking through a very detailed version of creating those notes. So I highly recommend that you go take a look at that video. And if I think of it, I'll put it up here somewhere. Enjoy your Zellcast and Intana. It's much simpler than you probably thought. It's the complexity that emerges when you explore on a term basis that gets so powerful. I've just got this one note called No Need to Burn the World. That is a term. And that term comes from this permanent note in my Zettelkasten, but there are many notes that are relevant to it. For example, this note about hydrogen. So if I click on hydrogen, it's going to take me to another term node, and you'll see that I have definition of permanent note and relevant notes. I'll open that up, and I can see stranded energy. I'll open that up, and I'll see global transportation network. I'll open that up, and I'll see this connected to Hyperloop and supply chain resilience. If that's not a delightful way to traverse your thoughts, your thinking, the things that you took the time to record as a permanent note, I don't know what is. And this is really one of the most beautiful ways I've found to do it so far. So please let me know in the comments what are the things you're thinking, whatever the things you need. If this helps you in some way, that would really make me happy. And share the video if there's somebody out there that really wants to think about their thinking. That really is the nicest thing you could do for me is just to watch the video and share the video. Thanks so much. Have an amazing day and enjoy your testing process and enjoy Tana. It's an amazing piece of software.